Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is 7 things one should know about the third Elliott wave. Okay. In fact, I should say 7 essential uh, things one should know about the third Elliott wave. All right. So we all know that the third Elliott wave is an impulse wave like the first and the fifth wave. During the third Elliott wave, all right, we are more likely okay, to catch the biggest portion of a trend, either a bullish trend or a bearish trend. All right. And most okay, position traders, if you are a position trader or a swing trader, love the third Elliott wave. They want to catch the third Elliott wave. But there are seven essential things one should know about the third Elliott way. All right? Let's get started. The first essential thing one should know, a technical trader or an Elliott way practitioner should know about the third Elliott way, is that a normal third Elliott way will not exceed, go beyond, all right? The one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension of the first wave. That's the first essential thing one should know. I talked about this before, but here what we are doing, we are compounding. Okay, we are consolidating everything we have been learning. Okay, over the year, so we may become a better earlier wave a three days. All right. So, if we consider this as a first wave from here all the way to the top like this, I draw it from the low to the high, all right? If we consider this as the first wave and we apply Fibonacci extension to it, uh, if we call this section here, okay, if we call this the third in your wave, a normal third in your wave should not, in normal condition, will find the third in your wave, will find a resistance, in a zone of 161.8% Fibonacci extension of the first wave. So we will say if we call this as a third in your wave, this is the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level, and we will call that third in your wave, okay, a normal third in your wave because it has failed to go. Beyond, you can see, if we the resistance in that zone, we want a bit above and come back down, okay, if we call this one a third in your way, okay? So that's the first thing one should know, essential thing one should know about a third in your way, that a normal third in your way, very often, will find a resistance in the zone of 161.8%, Fibonacci extension level of the first way. The second essential thing that one should know about the third in your way, is that uh, the extended third Elliott wave, okay, will go beyond the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level. So, a normal third Elliott wave will continue, will break above that level. So, if you buy during the third Elliott wave here at the end of the second wave, usually there's another opportunity to buy at one six one point eight point. One six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level of the first wave. If we have an extended third in a way, what will happen here? If you are looking for a breakout, you see that the price will go again a little bit up above to acknowledge that one six one point eight percent level, and then try to pull back again a little bit to retain that zone before going up more. So an extended third in a way, we always go above. The one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level of the first wave. The third essential thing one should know about the third in your wave, what, well, is that the third in your wave is never. <laughs> it's never. I don't like to use the word never, okay? But that's that's the theory. It's never the shortest impulse wave. So we have three impulse waves, first, third, and fifth. But the third in your wave is never the shortest multi-wave. 
right? Never the short. Talking about the length or the magnitude shouldn't be the shortest. So you want to compare, okay, the length of the, the third to the first and the fifth. This will allow you to improve your area wave analysis. So you are calling something third area wave, and you notice that in fact is the shortest in comparison to the first and the fifth. So you know that uh oh. Doesn't make any sense. It's not in your wave. Something is not adding up here. So you put a big question mark on it. You say, well, this this is this is violating the area wave principle. The fourth essential thing one should know about the third in your wave is that is the wave that usually is uh, becomes complex. So talking about a wave extension. If you are expecting an area wave extension, it will often take place during the third area wave. So there is a high chance that most of the third area wave will be a complex wave that are subdivided into five manual wave. Not only that, it has been extended. Not here, be careful. What we are talking about, the area wave extension very often will take place during the third area wave. That's what I want you to remember. So the fourth thing to understand, you learn about area wave extension, connect that area wave extension to the third area wave. You hear area wave extension, the first wave should come to your mind is the third area wave. The second wave that should come into your mind is the fifth wave. But the fourth thing one should understand that the wave extension very often will occur during the third area wave. Right? The fifth thing that one should know about the, the essential thing one should know about the third in your way is that the third in your ways is very often often okay a multiple of the first wave. Okay, George, what what, what are you talking about? What's that mambo chambo, George? Multiple. So it means that if we measure the magnitude, okay, talking about from the low to the high of the first wave, the third area wave is usually a multiple of that magnitude, talking the magnitude of the third wave is from here to here, all the way up to the top, okay? Very often that magnitude of the third area wave is correlated to the magnitude of the first wave. Why? The reason is the small investor I was explaining to trader last time, okay, uh, let me see here. I posted a video at dayprotrader.com when I was talking about Fibonacci trader explains the 150, the 150% Fibonacci extension level. So what usually take place, you can see that this is the prime winner from here to here, and then pull back, okay? Investor took first profit, okay? So as the price breaks above the first, the high of the first wave, the level they are watching is 150. You see? Which is quite close to once it's 1.8% 1 level. So... I was explaining that in that video. I don't want to talk about it. So if you want to understand what is going on, the video you should watch is Fibonacci Trader explains the 150% Fibonacci extension at the Pro Trader YouTube channel. So this is one of the reasons why the third area wave, the normal third area wave, often find a resistance near the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. But also because the magnitude of the first wave a lot of investors know how much profit they have made during the first wave. With that information, that's the first information that they got. And with what they got, they will use it, okay, to, to, to set target for the future. So if the stock goes to 150, they know that, okay, after breaking above the high, they have made again 50% of, okay, the prior profit, so you make 100 profit from the beginning of the first wave to the end of the first pro for the first wave. Now it goes above the high and reaches the 150% level. They know that, okay, we add another 50% profit to our 100% profit and so on and so on. And if the price goes to 200% level, Fibonacci extension level, they know that, okay, now we have tripled our profits, all right? Uh, so 
they are uh, they have doubled their profit so they are watching all those uh, okay key level the 200 percent level fibonacci extension level the 300 percent fibonacci extension level that's why the third area wave that is extended very often will change direction in the zone of 314 percent fibonacci extension level which is three times the magnitude of the first wave so an extended third in your way okay that is prolonged in most cases not always okay we'll find a resistance at 314 percent fibonacci extension level some may not even go near that level or will change direction quickly at 261 percent level but we know that some stocks that are quite bullish can push it to 314% level and we find a reason that, and that 314% is a multiple of the magnitude of the first wave so this is what i'm talking about here okay all right so that's the fifth essential thing one should know about the third in your way that is a multiple of the magnitude of the first wave okay the sixth thing one should know, essential thing one should know about the third in your wave is that the third in your wave depicts, am I speaking difficult English now? All right. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm speaking like this is because I try to make fun of my English accent. So, all right. So, the third in your wave depicts the third internal wave of the first wave. So, do you understand? No, you haven't. Okay. Now, let me explain myself. So, sixth thing to understand, essential thing to know about the third area wave is that the third area wave depicts the third internal waves of the first wave. So, if you are calling yourself area wave expert and you do not know what I'm about to talk about, it means that you need to go to www.24areawave.com and watch every video on the first, on the home page of 24areawaves.com. Watch every video completely all right from the beginning to the end so in order to focus the financial market area wave practitioner use the internal wave or the first wave to focus the multi wave i don't want to dwell on it i'm not going to waste other traders that have been following up for years okay saint george you said it before you're going to see it again we use the internal wave or the first wave to fork out the whole multi wave. Whole multi wave, we're talking about first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, and the fifth wave. Okay? So now, when I'm saying that the third, the real third area wave depicts the third internal wave or the first wave, there is a direct correlation between the real third area wave and the third internal wave of the first wave. Talking about the Fibonacci extension correlation between the third internal wave of the first wave and the first internal wave of the first wave the same rule will apply to the real third wave and the first third wave so the real third wave that we see on the chart often not always often depict the the third internal wave reflects right is that okay is that making sense to you reflect or duplicate okay the the third internal wave of the first wave that's what i say to you if you do not understand what i've just said it means that you go to dayprotrader.com buy yourself a nice beer or wine don't let anyone disturb you and pay attention to my beautiful accent <laughs> watch <laughs> the full length of each video in the home page of 24aliawave.com okay all right okay so there's seven which is the last thing essential thing one should know about the third area wave i've just mentioned it already is that the third area wave usually peaks around one day around the three one four percent fibonacci extension level so so i just said it before so that the, the, the extended third area wave in most cases will peak will stop with final resistance at three one four percent Fibonacci extension level. So once we see the first wave and the second wave, we say that okay, most third area wave will turn around at 314% Fibonacci extension level of the first wave. So we put it there. Doesn't mean that it will definitely go there, but we know there. We know that this is a level everybody is watching. 
You also that no more third in your way will not go above the 161.8 percent Fibonacci extension level. So the seven essential thing one should know about the third in your way is that mm, the third in your way often picks around the three one four percent Fibonacci extension level. So those are the seven essential things one should know about the third in your way. All right. So to summarize this video very fast, first thing first, okay, no more third in your way will stop at one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level of the first wave, okay. Extended second essential thing one should know. Extended third in your way will go above the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level of the first wave. The third thing that one should know about the third in your way is that a third in your way is never the shortest. <laughs> Motive wave. Fourth thing one should know about the third in your wave is that wave extension wave extension often occur during the third in your wave. In your wave extensions. So if you do not know more about in your wave extension, go to two for in your wave .com. So the fifth thing that one should know about uh, okay the third in your wave is that uh, the third in your wave is often a multiple of the magnitude of the first wave. The sixth thing that one should know about, uh, essential thing one should know about the third in your wave is that the third in your wave depicts the third internal wave of the first wave. And the last, uh, the seventh thing, essential thing one should know about that gigantic, okay, third in your wave is that the third in your wave usually peaks around the three one four percent Fibonacci extension level. This is the end of this tutorial about uh, seven essential things one should know about the third in your way. So this is your time. If you have any question, suggestion, or blah blah blah, put in the comment section. And in the course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders, uh, okay, talking about. Uh, seven essential things one should know about the third area wave. Happy to you all and speak to you soon.